All right, very good morning, all. Uh, we are in Scarborough. Yeah, Scarborough. And oh, let's get on the bike. How are you boys feeling this morning? Like John Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> ah, flipping right. Don't drop it. No, try not to. Just get some mileage under our belt now because we're hot stood by here. We've just been talking to somebody. And now we get a bit warm now, so get a couple of miles under our belt. Cool down a little bit. Hope the rain stays off as long as it can because it don't get very good later. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go then. So it's 10. 10.15, we'll look to stop about 12.15, 12.30. Yep, perfect. Okie dokie, let's right, go. Says we're going to get that, oh, three. Oh, I tell you what we haven't done, boys. Oh, What's that? Oh, it don't matter, we're going to do it later, aren't we? What's that? Because, oh. oh, yeah, it's taking us a nest point first, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to um, take us nest point yeah, first. Yeah, and then when yeah. we get, we're going to switch then. We're we? going to switch it then, yeah. yeah. And looked at it there, yeah. it's 11 hours 45. Like, what? All right, come yeah. on, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Yeah, because uh, the route that I've put into uh, Tom Tom, uh, for some unknown reason, is taking us all around the houses from Nest Point down to Canvey, where we're stopping tonight. Oh. Hang on a minute, two minutes, boys. I forgot my phone's in my pocket. I've just got to put it in oh, my, uh, my jacket. That's all right. Hang about. Sorry, boys. Hang about two seconds. I'm going to have to. Um, I don't want to crack my phone. I'll take my glove off a sec. Two seconds. Sorry. I want to clip my. Uh... <laughs> we always like this in the mornings. <laughs> do it every We've time. We've had a nice breakfast, haven't we? Yeah, I do it every time. Every time I put my helmet on, I forget to do the. Yeah, so. The button. That's, it, that's right. the Mayfield, where we stopped last night. Rooms are absolutely lovely. That's in uh, Seema, in uh, Scarborough. It's been a really, really nice hotel. Fair play to it. Rooms and were I, lovely. And I tell nice you, breakfast. I tell you what. I tell you what, guys. If you ever decide you're going to do a tour of bikes or car and you think the bed and breakfast are going to be cheaper and better, don't. don't you're better no. off with a nice hotel because they're all usually up to date. They're lovely and fresh and clean. After going to that bed and breakfast we went to on our first night, second night, second night put me off bed and breakfast for life. I would just never go to a bed and breakfast again. And it's not being snobby, and I'm sure there's some lovely ones out there, but you take your, you take your risk with bed and breakfast, you don't really see. And half the time, the pictures you see on the sites are probably new pictures when it was first done, and you get there and it's probably 10 years old. Do you know what I mean, Matt? Yeah, and yeah. Gives you a bit of a false representation, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and the attitude on the guy when we got there. I know we keep Oh, it's stunk. It's, it's absolutely stunk. stunk. All he was concerned about was money. And I know people got to make money, but come on. We told him yes. we, we told him we were bikers. And, you know, uh, on a Davis, the attitude was just crap. Yeah, yeah, we've already had a whinge about him, so. I know. So, anyway, yeah, but all I'm saying is, if you're thinking about doing a tour, Check out the hotels along the route first before you do bed and breakfast. That's what I would say. That's my advice anyway. So anyway, let's get on with the day. We've had our whinge. And uh, let's see what it brings, you know? Yeah, see what the day brings today. Uh, we've got a nice little, about a four and a half hour stint down to uh, Nest Point now. And then, uh, as Dave said earlier on, we're going to be stopping about uh, 12 o'clock, half 12. Just for a half hour now. You know, just a, maybe a bite to eat cupboard or whatever and then crack on down the nest and then we'll have uh, a run then down to Canby Island but as I was saying earlier on uh, the reason we're um, oh, why did I do that then that's weird see that on the sat nav then Dave uh, um, it, it wanted to take us down a little lane over there <laughs> but it's joined back up onto this road right. weird that probably saved us about 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, this, uh, the TomTom -tom is, uh, some unknown reason, from Nest Point 
to Canvey Island, it's saying it's like a, a 4 hours 45, but we know we can do it in 2 hours and 10 minutes. So uh, when we get the nest, we're going to reset everything and, uh, and go that way to get down to uh, Canvey Island for tonight then. So. so it's not such a dragged out day. But, uh, this road should be a quite a nice road now, coming down um, the coast road. It looks it! Yeah. So uh, hopefully we'll have a good run. So let's crack on. Let's hope the uh, the weather stays dry for us. If we have seen that there is uh, rain on its way, but hopefully we'll stay in front of it and stay a bit drier. We we'll leave the cameras running for a little bit, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Leave the cameras running. They'll do a bit of B-roll and whatever, and then uh, and we'll speak to you a bit later, guys. Target now, Land's End. <sighs> Let's get going, guys. I've been contemplating all my time. My thoughts make me tired, just running through my mind. Wonder if there's peace I can find 
Just one. 